And as it turns out, they really do exist. The Nano Leaf, formerly known as Nano Light, the so called world's most efficient light bulb, a Kickstarter project that I uh, helped finance like it feels like a year ago. It was probably more like six or seven months, I don't know. But anyway, my reward finally shipped, and this is a uh, kind of special black edition version of the nano light. I don't know if uh, if you can buy these or not because it's black instead of the conventional white that I think the mass production version is. So yeah, anyway, that's the package. Pretty cool. Um, big sticker right on the top there, do not use with dimmer, so these are non-dimmable. So I'm just going to unpack this and then uh, try it out. So this is kind of cool. Here we have the three uh, generations, if you will, of light bulbs and technological advancement here. We've got the conventional incandescent, that's a three-way, then a standard CFL, and now finally the nano leaf. And this is what it looks like up close out of the box. Pretty cool. And a really fascinating manufacturing technique. Uh, those who have been following the Kickstarter will have learned that they had some production issues initially and that's why it took so long for the bulb to finally uh, get shipped out and uh, they've ironed out all those problems and now it's basically like super high quality and um, very robust which is good news. Um, one concern that I had and it turns out that this concern was justified is the size as you can see that I mean this is a three-way bulb those are a little bit larger than a standard incandescent bulb and while the nano leaf is shorter than a standard incandescent it's actually wider and that's kinda hard to tell from the video due to the lens distortion but because of the sort of polygon centric configuration uh, the angle across from this corner to this corner is quite a bit wider than the circumference of the uh, conventional light bulb so this may not fit in the uh, in a lot of fixtures because of that so for me that turned out to be an issue because see I have this uh, globe light that I was gonna put it into and I can't really do that because it doesn't quite fit in the opening which is made for a conventional incandescent but that's not a huge problem because um, really this uh, light bulb which is kind of an artisan sort of light bulb uh, is only going to uh, be really fully appreciated when you can see it and so that would kind of be a problem in the globe so here I've got my fixture and I'm just gonna screw that in there so that seems to fit just fine I'm gonna turn it on this is the first time that this uh, bulb is gonna be turned on Whoa, bright. <laughs> 